Welcome everybody. So today I want to show you how to practice your blended colors. So once you have your paint palette filled with all the colors that you need, I want to show you how to practice. So for this box here, you're going to do each of these colors as neatly as you can in the box. So one thing I look for when I try to do that, you can use a smaller um, brush if you want, but for me, I try to find a brush that's kind of flat on the edge and I will put just a tiny bit of paint on there and I will pinch it between my fingers to get it really nice and crisp. So it's flat on that side and then crisp on that side. Cause then what I can do is once I have that, then I can line up that nice straight edge right against my straight line right here and I can add on some paint so I'm keeping my nice straight edge right and I'm lining up that edge right at the edge of the box I'm gonna go across the edge and then pull towards the center getting more paint as I need okay and remember in between each color, uh, you can use a slightly damp paper towel, but I'm finding that just doing the dry paper towel ends up being just as easy. So same thing. So I can use that leftover paint and just make sure that it's nice and pointed. So when I do the next one again, and feel free to rotate your paper. Like there's nothing that says that you have to keep your paper in the same orientation so like for me it's easier for me if i rotate my paper to make this nice and smooth and even and i have a tendency to prop uh my finger on the paper or the table to kind of help steady my hand because if i'm just doing this i'm gonna be all Kinds of crazy wobbly. Okay. So now up top here, this one we're doing a blend. So you're gonna do your best. It's not gonna be as neat as this one for most people, but you're gonna do your best to get it as kind of blendy as possible. And you can kind of see I started, like there's some areas that I might wanna go back in and try to add in a little bit more time on um, before you know, I turn it in, but our goal is to kind of get like an in-between color. And you can see I kind of, I did this one first so I could kind of follow along and make sure I have a really big area of that color. So I'm gonna use that same smaller paintbrush and I'm gonna paint the next color in this area. So I'm gonna add in my black that's the square that I'm on and again I can turn the paper if I need to like I'll finish up that little edge like that but now that I have that I want to blend this area okay so I've got a little bit of black I'm gonna make sure I have a little extra black right here and black is really strong um, it mixes good but it's really, really strong. So I'm gonna end up wanting to use more of my last color. And I'm gonna add in kind of a blob of my last color right next to here. And then I'm just gonna kind of swirl a little bit, okay? Once I've kind of swirled a little bit in there, I'm gonna clean off my brush again. And I'm gonna swirl again just to the side of that. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush again. And now I'm gonna swirl on this side. Now the darker colors, it's pretty easy to kind of make it look blended in the darker colors because it's just so dark. But it is actually blended in there. So you can see that there's like a little blend right there, right? So uh, you're gonna blend it the best you can all the way across and if towards the end, you're like, oh no, I need to add a little bit of something right there. Then go back and do that. 
these bottom ones, we're still gonna practice a blend, but we're gonna do, on these first two, we're gonna do more of a starburst pattern, okay? So on this one, I want you to start in the middle because the arrow's going out. You're gonna start in the middle and then go out color by color. On this one, you're gonna start out at the edge and go in color by color. So since I started with white on this one, I'm gonna start with black on that one. So it just gives a different look than if I did the outward starburst on this one. I'm still gonna try to keep it as neat as I can, but I fully recognize sometimes blending on starburst is a little bit more difficult, but I'm gonna try to make this one more of a square blend because the last one I did the circle as you can see. So I'm still using that same brush for right now, the slightly smaller one. If you wanna use an even smaller one to help you be really neat about this, go for it. But I want you to try all these different things so you can kind of see what stuff is like and find the best way for you. Try not to put your hand in wet paint. It does make it a little, a little messier if your paint is wet, but usually by the time you're done with, you know, your first color or two, then your last couple of colors are ready. Okay, so if I'm doing, like I said, if I'm doing kind of more of a square one, I'm gonna start more with a square this time. And I'm still gonna wipe off in between each color and I'm just using that dry paper towel. But now I'm just gonna kind of do the reverse. So instead of taking the black, I'm taking the next darkest color and I'm gonna put it right up against the edge like this. I'm gonna go all the way around. And then I still wanna do a little bit of blending, right? And like I said, this, the darker colors, it's harder to see on the screen that I'm blending, but it's still, like in real life, you can you can see it. So it's still important to do the blending. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of black and I'm just gonna kinda do the little twirly thing. Twirl, twirl, twirl. And now if I needed to, like for me, it looks like it's okay. If I needed to, I could take a little bit of this color and do another little twirl right there. But for right now, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add on the next one so you can see the color change a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another stripe of this next color. So now that I have that color, I'm gonna go back to my next darkest one. I'm just gonna make a little blobby right next to it to make sure that it's still nice and wet right there. Cause it's a little bit easier to blend when, it's easier to blend when the colors are still wet. So now that I have that, I'm gonna do my little swirl I'm gonna do my little swirl in between. All the way around. Now I wanna kinda take a look. And like right here, I can see that I've got kind of like a dark line. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the color that I was on 
and do another little swirl right around the edge. And you're just mostly gonna kind of keep swirling till you get as far in there as you can, right? So you're trying to get as many colors in these as you can. So the last ones, I'm still going to continue on this one, but these last ones, you can see there's just an arrow that goes this way. So I'm going to go from light to dark just in stripes. So it's kind of like this again, but it's a little bit wider this time. And this one, we're going at a diagonal. So you can either make it a diagonal where you are having it curve like this one so it could be like like a diagonal like this or it could be like this one where it's you know diagonal but it's more straight either one of those is fine so as I'm going like I said like the brighter the color the easier it is to kind of see the blending Just make sure you're wiping off your paintbrush when you need to. So fresh, a little bit of paint, little swirls. If it doesn't look super blended, then you wanna kind of go back and forth with those colors until it does look blended. So like right there, I had a lot of that dark color and over here I had a lot of the red, so now I can go back in. And over here I'm gonna add a little bit more red because I need a little bit more red to kind of do the, the in-betweener color. Same with right here. And then over there, I need a little bit more red again. Wink. But your goal is just to go back and forth until it looks as blended as you can. So like I said, you keep on going until you've got the whole paper done. So this one, neat as possible. Do the little trick where you make your paintbrush super pointy so it's really nice and flat on your edges. And do each box as individual. This one up top, we're practicing blending this one right here, we're doing starburst. This one right here, we're going from the outside in. So this one was from the inside out. This one's from the outside to the inside. This one right here, we're doing stripes down to the bottom. So it's similar to this one, but the, the area is smaller. And then on this one, you can either do a curvy one like this, or you can go for more of the straight stripes back and forth. All right, happy blending. Thanks everybody.